Yow! This is a large toe that has been cut sagittally. Please notice that here is the distal phalanx and here is the proximal phalanx. Large toes don't have a middle ph phalanx, do they? Here is the joint space between the proximal phalanx and the distal phalanx. This is the interphalangeal uh, joint. Please notice that there is some yellowish, yucky, cruddy, granular material that is deposited in the vicinity of this joint space within the soft tissues. Here's a good glob of it, here's a good glob of it, here's a little bit of it, and here's another big glob of it. This extends into the fat, doesn't it? If we were to look at the same uh, substance a little bit closer up, it has that same yellow, yucky texture. It extends into soft tissues. And quite frankly, I don't know if this particular slice was from the toe or not. But it is a very, very good, gross demonstration of a tophus. Well, if you uh, fix a tophus of gout in formalin, the uh, uric acid material usually dissolves. So if possible, we like to fix them in alcohol instead. And when we do fix them in alcohol and then process them like tissue, the uh, yellow, yucky stuff, the tophus material of gout, frequently looks like this. Here's the yellow, yucky uric acid material. Please notice that it's surrounded in all areas by a rim of cells. And what kind of cells do you think they might be? Well, they look like our friends the multinucleated foreign body giant cells. And essentially, that's what a tophus is. It's a deposition of uh, urate within a joint space due to certain conditions of gout related to pH. And then this material is attacked by histiocytes, and some of them join up with their brothers to form teams called multinucleated giant cells, and they're trying to digest this uh, plated out uh, gouty uric acid material. And this is the classical appearance of a gouty tophus. Thank you very much.